Okay, in this section, uh, we will solve uh, questions uh, that says that uh, find the indicated limit. So we are given a question that limit x approaches to 0, 3x squared minus 5x plus 7. To find out the limit, uh, first we have to understand a few rules. First rule is that if x is approaches to some number and you're taking the limit of a constant number, so the limit does not apply and you get this exact same constant. Uh, the next rule is if you have x to the power something and the x is approaches to a, then just replace the x with that x approaches to um, a value. So that becomes x power n or x power anything, whatever is given. Similarly, if x power something is multiplied by a constant, then what you can do is take out the constant and apply the limit on the x term and you already know the value how to find out the uh, limit of x term so that would be c a to the power n so here we will apply those rules of limit x approaches to zero first we will apply on the first term uh, one more rule that we can use is that if limit is applied on different functions, if they are added, what you can do is you can apply the limit separately on both of them. If there is addition, there is subtraction, you can use for both of them. So if there is subtraction, you will just put subtraction over there. So here you have three different functions and there's plus and minus between, minus and plus between them. So I can apply the limit to this one, then minus, apply the limit to the second one, and plus, apply the limit to the third one. Now we can see that this one is resembling this property, so we will take out the 3, we will take the 3 out from the limit and apply the limit to x square only. Here 5, we will take out 5 and apply the limit on the x. And since this is a constant, so we said that if you apply a limit to a constant, it gives you the same constant, which means a limit doesn't apply to the constant because there is no x in there. <coughs> Now, by the property of this, or this rule limit, just apply the limit, the limiting value for x. So we wrote three. Uh, we wrote three and apply the limit zero value for x, and minus five the value of x, in plus three. 0 times anything, 0 times anything, and if you add them up, this gives you 3. Now, in the second question, you are given that the limit x approaches to 2 of 2x cubed minus 10x. So again, applying the rules of separation, you apply the limit on this term, which is here, and this term, which is here, right? Again, um, the rule says that a constant you have to take out the constant, take the constant out of the limit. So we took the 2 out and apply the limit on the x cube only. Here we take out 10 and apply the limit on the x. And again, to the limiting uh, rule, just put the value of 2, whatever is here, in for x and in here for the x. Taking the cube of x, 2 is 8 and 20, 10 times 2 is 20, so that gives you 16 minus 20, or um, 16 minus 20, which gives you minus 4. In question number 3, again, we have two functions, and uh, there is subtraction between them, so you can separate them, and we can write this as 1 over 3, x power 3, and minus limit x approach to 2, 7x squared. Again, 1 over 3 is a constant, so we will take 
is out of the limiting value here 7 should be out of the limiting value now apply the limit so which means 2x cubed minus 7 apply the limit square of 2 that is 8 by 3 minus 7 that is 4 so we can say that 8 or 3 over 28 if you want to further solve it you can take the lcm minus 28 into 3 divided by 3 and that shall give you 8 minus 8 so that should give you minus 76 over 3 Now question number 24 is about a function, a rational function, where you can write it in this form. If you have something, so if you have a function of this type, then you can apply the limit on the numerator, I mean above one, and denominator, the below one, separately. But there is a condition that the denominator ones, if you apply the limit, it should not be zero. So if you look at this one, now if you apply the limit x approaches to 3, over here, this does not become zero, so we can apply the limit separately on 2 minus 8 and the limit x approaches to 3 on x plus 4. So now you don't have to write down all the time the separate limits. You can say something straightforward. So for instance, I will apply the limit straight away and take out the 2 from the limiting value. And the, since minus 8 is a constant, so I will just write down the constant because the limit and constant value is a constant. Similarly, here I will apply the limit on x to 3 on the x, and 4 is a constant value, so the limit of this would come as 4. Now you have to apply the limit, so applying the limit gives you and that gives you 6 minus 8 and 3 plus 4 gives you 7 so that gives you minus 2 over 7 now this is a different question so again in this one we can see if we apply 2 over here this is 2 squared is 4, uh, 2 times 4 is 8, so it doesn't give you 0, so you can apply the limit on the numerator, which is 2x squared plus 3, and the denominator, which is x squared plus 4x minus 2. Again, I'm using a little shortcuts and 3 since it's a constant so the limit applies and gives you the same constant now x approaches to 2 on the x square plus since 4 is a constant we take out the constant and minus 2 is a constant so it gives you the same constant now if you apply the limit the square of 2, 2 times the square of 2, plus 3, the square of 2, plus 4 times 2, minus 2, you simplify this, 2 times 4 plus 3, and that gives you a 4 and 8 and minus 2, and then you multiply them, 8 plus 3, 12 minus 2 is 10, so that is 11 by 10. Now this one, the limit x approaches to minus 4 of 250. 250 is a constant, so what would be the answer? Would be the exact same value, 250. 
Now this one is x approaches to 0 of 175. Again, 175 is a constant. So when you apply the limit, it will give you the same exact value, 175. Now in this one again, we have a function above and a function below. The below one will not give you 0, so we apply the limit on the above and separately apply the limit on the below. Now you can see that you can straight away apply the limit x approaches to minus 10 on the x square and if you apply the limit on 25 since 25 is a constant so it will give you 25 and then you can apply straight away the limit on this one would be minus 10 here if you apply the limit that is minus 10 square plus 25 divided by minus 10 and this gives you 100 plus 25 divided by minus 10 minus minus becomes plus right so that gives you 125 divided by 10 or with a minus so you can write this as minus 125 over 10 you can further simplify it by multiplying by uh, dividing this by 5 and this by 5 or you can write this is 12.5 now, if you see uh, this question, if you look at this question, it's exactly the same as from the beginning ones. So, limit x approaches to 1, 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus x. Apply the limit separately on all three of them. And then uh, the, you have constants as a coefficient. So, we take them out and apply the limit on the x values. And here we can apply straight away the limit, which being, which gives us 1. Now, if you apply the limit, 1 cube plus 2 times 1 square plus 1. 1 cube is 1 times 3 is 3. 1 square is 1 times 2 is 2. And plus 1, this gives us 6. Now, this question, this question is again uh, exactly same like the beginning one. So, x approaches to minus 2. And here you can see it's minus. So, you can either just put minus over here or you can take it out. So it doesn't make any difference. In 8x squared, so you can apply the limit over here, minus, minus 2 power 4, and you can take the 8 out first, and then you can apply the limit in the next step. So the square of 2 minus 2 is giving you, minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4, and then into minus 2 gives us minus 8 and then it to min into minus 2 gives us plus 16 so plus 16 into minus so this goes give us plus 16 and 8 times if you put minus 2 square so that gives us minus 16 plus 8 times this gives us 4 so minus 16 plus 32 gives us plus 16. This one again apply the limit separately on each term or you can say on each function. I'll take out straight away the 5 and since it's a constant so it will give us constant. I don't want to apply the limit here because we you know the rules now. So minus apply the limit minus apply the limit so 2 times 2 is giving you plus 4 and then into minus 2 gives us minus 8 so minus this gives us minus 8 5 this gives us 4 and plus 10 so minus into minus becomes plus 8 and that gives us 20 plus 10 so that gives us 38 in this one again I'll take out 5 and apply the limit and the 10 is a constant so we take it out now straight away apply the limit 2 cube 10 into 2 square 2 cube is 8 and square is 4 
that gives us 40 and that gives us 40 so the answer is 80 thank you